what we don't want is end grain exposed. So we, we're going to put this you know, longitudinal piece of wood on top of the gate. Water will hopefully glide off it, and the gate will just get a few, we'll get a few more years out of it because the end grain won't get wet. Right now, the old gate doesn't have that. The end grain has rotted away. I don't know how long it's been there. It's been there for quite a long time, I think, but I'm hoping we'll get a good, I don't know, 10 plus, 15 years out of this. Let's go and uh, cut some angles on here. So it's gate installation day. I'm very good at trying to map out a plan of what I'm going to do or the way I want to approach it. And then I deviate completely. I've noticed that a few times in my videos. We're going to put some brackets on. We're going to get the gate frame, the steel frame up. We're going to take the old gate off and then we're going to probably have lunch. <laughs> from there, we'll take it from step by step. With the new go fast haircut, let's go. See behind me a mostly finished gate. Uh, it's hanging square, the, the boards went on. You might have noticed, I stopped videoing yesterday because hanging those boards was difficult with um, the wall right here. Um, there's only a meter and a bit in this space and, and that camera angle was a bit crappy to be honest. So what I've done is I, I stopped, I just hang the boards myself in the afternoon and then at some point in the afternoon I stopped to come back to it today. I started in the middle, why? Because I knew I was going to have to um, rip or trim the boards on both sides. Well, actually I could have started with the full board there, but I knew I, I didn't want to have the, the groove from the tongue and groove on the edge and exposed and visible. So obviously I was going to have to rip at that end and rip at that end. So I thought, okay, I'll start in the middle and just work out. And then I'm going to end up with 
a rip on one side and a rip on the other side, but at least I'll be able to trim it then to the right size for the door. So that's what I'm going to do now. Yesterday, right at the end of the day, I ripped a piece for the, uh, the side on the, on the side that closes. Um, it's, it's a slightly too wide. Uh, so what I'm going to do is mount it. I'm going to glue it as well with some waterproof glue down the seam. And then I'm going to bring a router, uh, I'm going to bring a router with a trimming edging bit and just run it down the side so that the edge of the board is the same as the, the large piece of wood that I've used there um, for that edge. Then we'll trim a piece for this side and mount it. The last steps are going to be trimming across the bottom and across the top. Everything's a bit higgledy piggledy, nothing's lined up. I'll just trim it square at the top, square at the bottom to the boards, and then we'll uh, put a cap on the top. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, the cap was created to stop the end grain or prevent the end grain from being exposed to water. Now it rained all night last night, so it's already been exposed. It's in the sun. I'm hoping it dries out. Um, lastly, I'll go back and order some more boards for this side. I only ordered boards for one side, so. We'll do that, we'll get busy with painting, get started. <laughs> 